Hello, my name is David Van Brunt, and today I'm going to be talking about Kundalini Yoga, health in the body, and the chakra system. Kundalini Yoga is the energy force that spontaneously rises from the base chakra, moving through the chakras, and activating each chakra as it ascends. The kundalini energy does not necessarily have to spontaneously arise, though it can. It can also be cultivated through kundalini yoga. So let's talk for a minute about what yoga is and um, what kundalini is in their separateness, and then we'll bring them together as far as how to exercise with them. And we'll talk a little bit about the chakras. So yoga in itself, the word means union, and it's talking about the union between your body, your mind, and your spirit. So when you're practicing yoga, you're moving your body in a way that connects with your mind, and then you are breathing in a way that helps you connect with your spirit. Yogi Bhajan would say that life is not under your control. The mind is rarely obedient, but the mind does obey the breath, and the rate of the breath determines how your body behaves. He would say that the deeper your breath is, the deeper your experience is. Shallow breath means a shallow experience. So we practice breathing in Kundalini Yoga because that is what regulates our body. <clears throat> yogi Bhajan was a, a yogi who came over from India in the late 1960s to America um, to work here. And he started teaching Kundalini Yoga by going out to the pier in Santa Monica, California, and finding the hippies that were doing drugs there. And he knew that these hippies were wanting to expand their consciousness and open their hearts. So he told them to just practice what he was telling them by exercising with Kundalini Yoga, and that he would get them high on the breath rather than get them high on things that were deteriorating their system. He said that he could get them to where they wanted to go with regeneration rather than with degeneration, which is what they were doing with drugs. And that's how Kundalini Yoga started here in the West. Before that, it had been a practice of yoga that was only passed down between a student and a teacher. Now, one of the things that Kundalini Yoga uses is mantra. And mantra is the practice of taking a sound or a series of words and putting them in repetition. And the repetition is what helps you repattern and reformat your mind because everything works in a spiral. Um, so Yogi Bhajan would take these sacred Sanskrit mantras and he would show people how to use them to help them reprogram their mind. I just wanna take a minute here to show you a picture of Yogi Bhajan so that you can get an idea of what this man looked like. That is Yogi Bhajan right there. He was a triple Virgo, a very organized man. He was known to be very tall and he had a lot of tall orders for people to follow. And one of the things that he would follow would be the amount of time that they would have to take a mantra and practice it. Now he would take a mantra like Ek Ong Kar Sat Nam Siri Wahe Guru each one of those sounds exercises a different chakra in the body. And there's a root chakra, a sacral chakra, a navel chakra, a heart chakra, a throat chakra, a third eye chakra, and a crown chakra. So ek would work your root chakra, which is the base chakra. Ek, ong would work your sex chakra. It, ong is a magnetizing sound, and so that's pulling things to you to uh, create with. Um, kar as a sound means creation in Sanskrit. And then Sat Nam is working your heart chakra. Sat Nam has all five of the elements in it. The S, the T, the N, the M, and the A for ether. So you all five elements. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. And then Siri. Siri as a sound means self-realized. And that's your throat chakra sound because in order to speak your truth, you have to be self-realized. And then wa he, wa he works your third eye chakra, and wa is the sound that water makes when it spills out, and he is like the sound that fire makes when it spreads. So wa he is talking about the transformative elements on the planet. There's earth, air, water, and fire, and water and fire are the ones that create change. So wa he is like saying wow is the ecstasy that 
creates transformation on the environment around me. And then there's Guru. Gu as a sound means darkness and Ru as a sound means light, which is why we call gurus uh, teachers because they take us from darkness to light. So let's just hear how Ek Onkar Satnam Siri sounds when you're pulling it through each one of the chakras. You're going to say Ek Onkar Sat Nam City Wa Hey Guru And as you're saying those sounds, you're imagining each of them coming up through each one of the centers, and then you want to picture it like a a rainbow coming out of the head, like each sound hitting each one of the chakras, and each one of the chakras has a color that it corresponds to, and I'm going to show you this here. Now, each one of the chakras' colors go in the same frequency as the rainbow does. So you've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So as you're saying this mantra, ek, ong, kar, sat, nam, siri, wa, hey, guru, you're picturing this kundalini snake coiling up the spine and shooting out the top of the head, picking up each one of those colors as it intertwines its way up and out the top. Now, if you practice this mantra in the morning with uh, kundalini yoga exercises, you will feel radiant. You'll feel fantastic. And uh, I'm not sure what else I can say in such a short period of time about how or the exercises but there's a lot of different Kriyas that Yogi Bhajan taught throughout the course of his uh, 40 years of teaching Kundalini Yoga and passing it down to the students that he has here. But it's an amazing practice that I've seen transform my own life. I saw it transform my mother's life and I, I just can't say enough good things about it. There are people that talk about the spontaneous rising of Kundalini being dangerous and I agree the drugs that can cause Kundalini to rise spontaneously can be dangerous because you're not practicing it in a way that uh, regulates the flow of the kundalini through the body. So that's why practicing kundalini is so important. If you have any other questions, you can email me at kundalinibrat at gmail.com. That's K-U-N-D-A-L-I-N-I-B-R-A-T at gmail.com. And I can tell you about it if you have any more questions. But uh, otherwise, I wish you well and namaste satnam. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. And that's how Yogi Bhajan asks us to end every Kundalini class. Satnam.